What's going on guys? Winter Kills here. Welcome back to another post commentary duel video. Uh, today we've got Invoked Wind Witch versus uh, we've got Metal Foe Zoo. Um, I know you guys, I uploaded the, uh, the spiral video the other day of Phantasm Spirals. You guys seem to like that a lot despite some of the misplays that ended up happening, which I are completely understandable as my friend Adam's like, like one of his first times. Uh, sitting down with the deck, he kind of came up with a little bit of spice. You know, maybe this will be a decent deck. And it actually wasn't that half bad. It's just kind of unfortunate the match that I did get to record wasn't the greatest. I'll definitely try to record more of that because you guys definitely liked it. And a lot of you guys would like a deck profile. And I will try to get one of those as soon as possible. Been very, very busy lately with work and other stuff. And just, you know, basic everyday today operations. Trying to get this video up to you guys. Uh... It's currently the 13th. It's like 10.30 at night. I might just save this video to upload tomorrow. Um, and uh, have it have it work out like that. Um, but as you can see here, opening up with the Wind Witch combo. And Alistair, you can bet there's going to be a Ragin joining that Crystal Wing as per usual. In defense position this time. Uh, pretty standard uh, first turn invoked Wind Witch uh, play. You know, Crystal Wing... Uh, Ragin and probably some hand traps in hand uh, his build is notorious for hand trap heavy and it does work out quite a bit works out really well actually he'll pass it back to him and you notice I did not speed this one up too much let me sped up by an extra 20% um, it's because it is a bit of a short match and I would speed up by the usual like 200% it uh it would be just um, like a five minute video so I decided to only speed it up just a little bit just so it's not painstakingly slow at some points so he's activating his uh, scale attempting to destroy Baboon of course uh, to pop off into an invoker play because it is Metal Foe Zoo um, and I know you guys uh, some people are tired of seeing Zoo over and over again but I am trying to uh, mix it up a bit oh and just realizing that the the new ban list is in effect now it's it's, I mean, for me, it's been in fact in effect since it came out, since it was released, but now it's like officially in effect. So that's that's pretty interesting. Now it's, it's June thirteenth, and that barrage will be stopped. He could have popped off with that possibly, but either way, whether it is the Rajin that stops his play or it's the Ghost Ogre stopping at the barrage, it doesn't really matter. Um, and he'll pass back over uh, to the Invoke player, where right now he's in a pretty good position. He could technically OTK using the Crystal Wing uh, combo, where you basically attack with Ragin, and then you use the book effect, you attempt to use the book effect, um, and then you negate that Ragin with that effect, and now he's already down 1,500 life points. And then your Crystal Wing would gain that 2,000 attack swinging for 5,000. Um, and since... He, yeah, he's going to target his Crystal Wing to book. And then Crystal Wing will negate it to gain the extra 2,000. He's already down 1,500 from the Solemn Strike. And it's GG from there. Um, not much he could have done in that position. Uh, he had pretty much the out to every play there in that first game. Uh, Rescue Rabbit. Activating his effect to summon two uh, level threes. Going into Invoker. Not bad. I thought Rescue Rabbit was only uh, level fours, but I guess it's not. I'm just going to look it up real quick, just so I'm not making a complete fool of myself. I'm pretty sure it's level four or lower. Let's see here. Yeah, two level four or lower normal monsters. Okay. Excuse me for having to check that mid-video, but I just want to be 100% with my uh, calls here on the video. Going to the Tiger Mortar. Um, I'm pretty sure he started his turn with the... Um, I don't know if he started his turn with the normal summoning of Rat. Um, but if he did, he could have done the Ram Ram play, which I'm not sure if he's entirely familiar with it. Um, but if he... No, he, did, he summoned the Rat off the uh, Invoker. That's right. It makes more sense. So technically, he couldn't have done that. Um... Yeah, there's no real way he could have done that play, actually. Now that I think of it, because if he didn't have a zoo in hand, 
because the combo is a bit harder to pull off because Rat needs to be normal summoned in order to send the Ram Ram. Um, I don't know if his build is running Ram Ram. I hope he is because it, Ram Ram combos very well with the uh, the Metal Foe engine. Um, so yeah, definitely some food for thought there for any Metal Zoo players out there, which I'm sure by now you're already aware of Ram Ram's uh, synergy with the Metal Foe stuff. Activating Magical Meltdown. He's got to worry about a Dryden and three set back row and two cards in hand. He's got three lines of defenses right now. Three lines of potential interruption. We know that the Dryden can stop field spell, but he will opt not to. I personally probably would have popped the field spell immediately because that sets up a whole slew of problems later on. Not being able to activate stuff in response and negate summons and stuff like that. Uh, I probably would have gotten rid of the, the, the Magical Meltdown as soon as possible. Um, because, you know, Invoked is sort of like a two-sided thing. It either does the Wind Witch play or it does the the Alistair play. And there's a Solemn Strike for the, uh, the Wind Witch. So that, that'll get that out of the way. And sometimes what you can do is wait until they get a bit deeper into the combo. Because now the combo is still live for the Invoked Wind Witch player. If you were to happen to draw into an Ice Bell again, or maybe Glass Bell, search an Ice Bell without opening the, the Winter Bell or whatever the, the level 1 is, Snow Bell. Um, it still has access to that Crystal Wing later on. If you, as an Invoke player, get a little greedy and try to burn that extra like 700 damage or whatever it is, 800 damage, uh, with the Winter Bell Synchro, that can get striked and that can leave you in a very bad spot. Um, so Ragin hits the board, and then Ragin on Summon will activate his effect and get the book on the Dryden, and you will not be able to activate anything in response. So definitely would have been best to pop that field spell immediately. It would have prevented the Rage from hitting the board in the first place, and you would have had the strike to clean up the, uh, the Wind Witch play as well. So definitely some notes to take here for our Metal Foe Zoo player. Going to be able to easily out that Dryden. None, doesn't look like any of his other back room be able to do too much. Going for the Purgatrio there, it looks like. Banishing one of his, uh, I think it might be Silvered or Stealing, one of the two. They're kind of the same. Uh, they're both lower levels. Zero defense there, and I'm pretty sure maybe, I don't, I'm not sure what uh, Thoroughblade's defense is exactly. It might be zero, I'm not sure. And if it does have a defense, it's very little. I know Whiptail is 400, I can't remember what uh, Thoroughblade's is. But he can attack all monsters. And Whiptail, no, you cannot activate Whiptail there. Because uh, it is already face down, and even if it were to flip up and damage Calc, you cannot attach the whip tail to it. Slight mishap there, but Prochu will continue to clear the field. That card is so good right now; it's really underestimated. But he ends up uh, winning right there, regardless through just pure damage. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did be sure to leave a like. Uh, I'm gonna be making a new open game state video soon just kind of talk about some things that are up and coming uh kind of kind of keep you guys up to date with some stuff uh you know future things that are going on so yeah let me know what you think down in the comment section below and as always guys i want to go center out we'll see you in the next one